we see a lot of pips and peels lying around the road and making the roads dirty. And with this ingenious contraption, we can keep our surroundings clean. With just a paper and tape, we can convert an A4 size paper into a sack to hold the eatables and store the pips and peels of our things that we eat neatly in two different compartments. This costs nothing but can greatly reduce our plastic waste. So we'll take this paper and fold it on both sides along the length and stick the both sides with the tape. This will make a cylinder of sorts with open holes on both sides. This is an extremely ingenious toy. And if we start using it, then we can reduce a lot of waste that we see around our roads. Now fold around 2 cm on each of these sides. Fold it also along the other side to get a good crease. And after that, we will fold these lengths inside to get a good rectangular box. And our paper sack is almost ready. And now we will fold our sack, not from the middle, but little off the middle, so as to make two unequal size compartments. The bigger one for the food and the smaller one for the pips and the peels, because they have lesser volume as compared to the food that we eat. So the next time when the shopkeeper gives you a plastic bag, show them your paper sack and help save the environment. So start using this ingenious bag. See how children are having fun. You eat from one part of the bag and stow away the pips and the peels in the other part of the bag. Amazing, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed making this toy and now it's time to think. Now this paper, this contraption is tubular and we fold it like this. Over here the width is 2 cm. It's got a fixed perimeter. Now how much should be the width to maximize the storage of peanuts in this bag? That's a question. Send your answers at support at arvindguttatoys.com